Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some romance series recommendations. So the series that I'm going to be recommending today are all about the same couple. So a lot of romance series you see out and about in today's day and age are like interconnected standalone series where each book in the series is about a different couple whereas the ones I'm going to be recommending today are all about the same couple. I have some contemporary reads, some fantasy reads, so let's get into these. The first one obviously is the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass, or at least the first three, technically 3.5 if you count the novella, um, but these are all about the same couple, but I don't want to spoil who the couple is, okay? Because <laughs> if you haven't read book number two yet, you won't know who the the couple is. I don't want to spoil it, okay? Um, but this is a fantasy romance series. If you have not heard about these books yet, what are you doing with your life? Um, I will just hold up my favorite in the series while I talk about this. Um, so this is the romance uh, series about Feyre and somebody. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it. But the first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, is a Beauty and the Beast retelling about Feyre living in this fantasy realm and she ends up killing a fae without realizing that the wolf she's shooting is a fae and like one of the fae kings comes by in this beast form and takes her back to their fae realm as a retribution. There's very much Beauty the Beast-esque elements in this first book at least. This one is more of a Hades and Persephone retelling. It's our favorite for a reason. It's everyone's favorite book. Okay um but I really love this series and how you get to explore the main couple like throughout all three books like it's absolutely beautiful if you've not picked up this series yet what are you doing with your life like seriously another fantasy romance series is the kingmaker chronicles by amanda boucher these do have new covers now um like this is what the first book looks like now but like i have the original ones with the heroine cat on the covers so i have those but yes the series is all about cat and her love interest griffin i love this series so much and like book number one is absolutely iconic because cat is this uh magical being in this fantasy realm called a kingmaker that exists one every once every 200 years the kingmaker has like magical powers that can essentially put kings on thrones she is in hiding pretending to be a soothsayer in this traveling circus and griffin is able to spot her though and is exactly who Kat is and ends up kidnapping her and chaining her to him and wants to bring her back to his kingdom to put his sister like in a better position on the throne. So um, it's enemies to lovers at first. He kidnaps her obviously. Um, so this is a great read and you explore more of their romance throughout these three books. These books are action packed. There's a bunch of political intrigue. Like the development of these two characters is absolutely fantastic within these three books as well as side characters so so good there's also like mythological aspects weaved in there as well like gods and goddesses like it's really cool the next series that i have to talk about is the Terran soul series whoa by cl wilson so this is a fantasy romance series that i really enjoyed i have not read the latest book yet um and also there was just a recent cover change this is the original cover for lord of the fading lands book number one but this is what the new cover looks like now um i think these covers are absolutely iconic like they're iconic they definitely fit with the story but i can definitely see how maybe some people won't pick them up because of what the cover looks like but these are so unique and so cool so this first book is about the oldest most powerful fae uh rain terran soul finding his fated mate in a human woman named eliseta Beristani. her name is sometimes a tongue twister for me and so this whole series is about them figuring out their fated mate bond and the powers the two of them possess there's this big bad evil trying to take over the like fey realm within these books i still again have this last book to read which like i've been putting off because like the villain of this series is absolutely horrible like i hate him so much and i don't want to see him like do anything bad like in this last book like i'm terrified um but i really do love these books i think they're so underhyped C.O. Wilson is a fantastic fantasy romance author. You need to check her books out if you have not yet. Like, they're so good. And the audiobooks are fantastic as well. They're all on audio. So please go pick them up if you haven't yet. Like, Rain and Elisetta's romance is absolutely beautiful to me. 
you need to read it to figure out why. <laughs> Next, I have a series I haven't finished yet, but I know it's all about the same couple. So this is kind of like, takes place in our world at the beginning and then it goes into a fantasy realm. So this is the Fate and Flame series by K.A. Tucker, the first book being A Fate of Wrath and Flame. So this first one here, A Fate of Wrath and Flame, is about a heroine who lives on Earth and she like lives in our world. She's like one of us, right? Um, she is a jewel thief, I think. She was getting roped into this woman's life and the woman ends up transporting her to a fantasy realm where she's put in her doppelganger's body and like she has no idea what's going on. And this whole series is about her and a certain somebody falling in love. Um, book number one left me like reeling, like I was dying for more. And so I really need to read book number two and book number three came out recently. So I need to pick that one up. Um, but if you love like fantasy and paranormal creatures, I cannot tell you like the creatures in here because it was like a such a big like whoa moment for me so I don't want to spoil that for you if you don't know the magical creatures going on in here because it was so cool because I didn't know going into this and it was so cool I ended up actually buddy reading book number one with Tori from Novel Life and it was so much fun to buddy read this book with her because there were so many plot twists that I was not expecting whatsoever in this book and I'm so used to K.A. Tucker's like contemporary romances this was such a breath of fresh air to me and I had so much fun reading it with her but there's a lot of twists and turns um, and yeah, I really fell for a heroine here. She gets literally thrust into this fantasy realm and she's so confused and she can't really tell anybody like this isn't like, I'm not who you're trying to hunt. I've just been put into her body because no one's going to believe her. Like, obviously. A paranormal-ish one is their Vampire Queen series by Jolie Sue Burkhart. If you want a Why Choose Vampire Romance series, look no further. There are how many books in this series? I think there's eight. I don't know. But it's basically the first book, our heroine. Um, she doesn't realize she's like this vampire queen, but she is. She ends up at first starting out with, I think like each book, like a new person joins the grouping of people. And they're all like vampire, vampire, like creatures, shapeshifters, like paranormal creatures. And they're all there to help her become stronger, a stronger vampire queen. So um, I've read a few books in this series. We'll see if I continue on, um, but this is definitely fun and hot. Next is the uh, Hades and Persephone saga by Scarlett St. Clair, the first one being A Touch of Darkness. I've read this first one. It's a Hades and Persephone retelling. Um, Persephone kind of gets roped into owing a favor to Hades. And that's all I really want to say for this one. I don't want to spoil it because it is a Hades and Persephone. Like you already know what you're going to get with it. Each book of the series is exploring their relationship more and there are even books in that are like because book number one is in the heroine's point of view Persephone's point of view and then there's the flip side where there's another book of the series all in the hero's point of view of that same book if that makes sense so there's a lot of books about this couple next is the thorn chapel series by Sierra Simone so the first one being a lesson in thorns I do want to continue on with this series I just think the audiobook waits for this are so long. I want to reread this one and then continue on with the rest. Um, but there are four books in this series and I think there's five or six people, six people, six people in this couple situation. Like everybody's together. You have the heir, the dreamer, the priest, the genius, the socialite, and the saint. These characters growing up, they like all grew up together on this very mysterious Thorn Chapel estate. Um, their parents were all friends. So they like grew up together kind of. They haven't really been back to the estate since they were kids, like their parents don't talk to each other anymore, something happened. So it's years later, they're coming back in contact, all of them come back to Thorn Chapel all over again. And um, things happen between the six of them. It gets kind of eerie and like mystical. And it's very intriguing. I definitely need to read more in this. But each book, there's four books, I think four, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, four, four about all of these people. So it's technically all about the same couple because it's all about all six of them. Next is the Tainted Heart series by Lila James. If you want a dark mafia romance series, like look no further. So uh, The Mafia and His Angel is essentially what I'm talking about. There are three books titled The Mafia and His Angel. There's part one, part two, and part three. Each part though is a book in and of itself. Um, and yeah, the heroine of this story, um, she has essentially been sold to be this mafia guy's wife, but she ends up escaping one night because he's absolutely horrible and has told her like all the horrible things that he's going to do to her. And she ends up seeing a car on the side of the road, kind of like with the door open and she just jumps inside of it in the backseat and it drives away, not knowing that the heroine's in the backseat and it parks somewhere. And while no one's watching, she ends up darting into the house. She's been very sheltered her whole life. So like she just darts into this random house and hides under a bed in a room. 
and she ends up getting found and the hero is the rival mafia boss to the guy that she was supposed to marry and he thinks that she is a spy she's not a spy obviously so it's like I'd rather keep my spy close to me and like know what she's doing um than like cast her out and not know what she's doing so I'm gonna hire her to work in my house for me this trilogy has like probably every single trigger warning you could possibly think of it gets very dark so just warning out there but all three books are about this couple going through the ups and downs of being a part of a mafia family together like they go through the ringer for sure next is the spiders mate series by tiffany roberts the first one being ensnared the first three books are about Katon and Ivy. Ivy is a human woman and she's been in cryosleep for a little while on this planet that Katon lives on. He's like this spiderish creature, okay? And he's kind of ostracized or he's ostracized himself. He's removed himself from his village because he just doesn't feel connected there anymore. He lives in the wilderness all by himself. He ends up exploring one day and ends up across this abandoned spaceship and accidentally wakes up Ivy from cryosleep and thinks that she is his new pet <laughs> and brings her back to his nest. He figures out pretty quickly that this is a sentient like woman and is like, oh, she's not a pet. She's a person. Um, and this is their romance. Each book in the series is about them and I can't wait to read more about them. I am very excited. I'm actually pretty scared of spiders but like the this book did not freak me out at all so like like don't think if you have like a spider phobia like no way like no way could you get me to read a book about sharks okay like I understand so if you have a spider phobia maybe don't pick this up but if you're like me you don't really like spiders like this book didn't really freak me out like at all so and the last series that I have to recommend all about the same couple is this silver Fury trilogy by Layla Faye. Each book in the series is about our main couple, the human woman named Una and the orc man named Ergen. Ergen is an orc general who has been tasked by the orc emperor in this fantasy realm to like take over more land and then when he's done you're gonna go back to the empire and marry my daughter. That's what the emperor tells him. He doesn't like the daughter. He like hates her and so he's like how do I get out of this? I don't want to defy my emperor and like be in the doghouse with him. What am I gonna do? One day, um, he notices one of the humans who is serving his men, his orc warriors, kind of like stand up to them while they're like trying to grope her and say horrible things. Like she stands up to him, she's a human woman. And um, he's like, ooh, she's very interesting, bring her to me. And they talk a little bit and he's like, ooh, I think this woman could be the answer to my problems. How about I just marry her? Like I'm very intrigued by her. And Una is like, no way. Then Ergen convinces her, he's like, okay, you're gonna travel with us to the empire. And during our journey, I'm gonna try to convince you to be my wife. And she's like, I mean, you can try, but I don't think it's gonna happen. She's secretly very excited about the fact that Ergen has invited her to do this because she has always wanted to go to the empire to kill the orc emperor because she actually hates orcs because they killed her whole family. So she's like kind of gonna play Ergen in a sense, but ends up falling for him instead. That's book one, The Orc's Bride, definitely my favorite in this series. But there are three books in this trilogy and they're all about the same couple and then I'm exploring their relationship and the kingdom that they may or may not eventually rule. So anyways, there you have it. Those were some series all about the same couples. Let me know down below if you've read any of these series or if you plan to. Also leave your series all about the same couple recommendations down below. I would love some recommendations. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any plant emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.